and set a trap behind enemy lines inside Afghanistan rather than taking any responsibility for the, this disgraceful re reckless exit plan, if you want to call it that. Instead of focusing on saving American lives, what's Joe doing? Well, he's attacking Republican governors like Ron DeSantis over masks and not taking a single question. Take a look. I'm directing the Secretary of Education, an educator himself, to take additional steps to protect our children. This includes using all of his oversight authorities and legal action, if appropriate, against governors who are trying to block and intimidate local school officials and educators. And during today's disgraceful remarks, Biden didn't even mention Afghanistan. Not once. Took zero questions. Wonder if you're, how you're feeling in Afghanistan seeing that today. And with reaction, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Governor, I want to go over, uh, you served our nation in the military. You were with, you served in the prestigious Navy JAG Corps as a prosecutor, deployed in Iraq with SEAL Team 1 during the 2007 surge, uh, served as a SEAL commander in Fallujah. Uh, you served as, uh, for, worked for the commander at Gitmo. Um, your military background is extensive. I'll get to the attack by Biden in a second. What's your assessment? I don't see, uh, you know, when they took 20% of Afghanistan, why didn't they act? Or 30% or 40% or 50%? How did he stay on vacation as Kabul was falling before the world's eyes? Can you explain that? Because I can't. Well, he's asleep at the switch, Sean. And first, let me say, I mean, obviously, after 9-11, we needed to go in and rout the Taliban and al-Qaeda. Uh, but I think, in hindsight, we, we should have come home after that. I think trying to do the democracy and all that, um, I think, has been very problematic. Now, having said that, uh, and I think Trump was right to say we needed to come home from Afghanistan, how you do that matters. When you're leaving thousands of Americans to fend for themselves behind enemy lines, that matters. When you're leaving billions of dollars in military equipment for our enemies to just take, that matters. It's going to make that area a disaster. Obviously, Americans are at risk. And Sean, 